Can you hear me? Okay. So, um, I'd like you show, to show you something I've been working on. Um, I need lights on the table, thank you. <laughs> You've probably all heard of Google's Project Glass. It's new technology. You look through them and the world you see is augmented with data. Names of places, monuments, buildings. Maybe one day even the names of the people that pass us on the street. So, these are my illusion glasses. They're not Google Glass. Thank you, Google, for not letting me in the developer's program. <laughs> But well, when you look through them, you get a glimpse into the mind of a cyber illusionist. And let me show you what I mean. I'm going to bring them up in just a moment. Make sure the lighting just changed a little bit. So I have to do a little bit of button pressing here. Sorry. Okay. All right. Let's see if that works. Okay, so all we need is a a playing card, actually, any card will do. Take a card. And let's mark it so we can recognize it when we see it again. And just to keep me a little bit relaxed. <laughs> okay, let's put it somewhere in the deck, just like this. And uh, let me have a quick check, because I'm a little nervous. Okay, I think that's gonna work. All right, let's start up the system. So for those of you who don't play cards, a deck of cards is made up of four different suits. There's hearts, clubs, diamonds, and spades. Cards are amongst the oldest of symbols and have been interpreted in many different ways. Now some say that the four suits represent the four seasons. There's spring, summer, fall, and winter. My favorite season is winter. Mine too. Winter is like magic. It involves visual wonder, drastic change, and a, a delicate balance between its physical states. In each of the four suits, there is a total of 13 cards. Each card represents a phase of the 13 lunar cycles. So over here is low tides, and then over here is high tides, and then in the middle, of course, is the moon. The moon is one of the most potent symbols of magic. There are two colors in a deck of cards. There's the color red and the color black, representing the constant change from day to night. Marco, I did not know you could do that. Well, thank you. <laughs> In a complete deck of cards, there are 52 cards representing the 52 weeks of the year. If you total all the spots on a deck of cards, the result is 365. 365, that's the number of days between each of our birthdays. Let's make a wish. Don't tell, or it won't come true. As a matter of fact, it was on my sixth birthday when I received my very first deck of cards. And ever since that day, I traveled around the world, entertaining boys and girls, men and women, husbands and wives, even kings and queens. And who are these? Ah, mischief makers, watch. Wake up. Whoa! Are you ready? Ready! Let me see what you got. Presenting my pogo stick! Ah, be careful. Whoa, 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 oh. Oh. But today I'm performing for a different kind of audience. Today I'm performing for you. Sign card detected. Now sometimes people ask me, well, to become a magician, do you just work from 9 till 5? Of course not. Creating magic is a 24-7 job. I don't literally mean 24 hours, 7 days a week. 24-7 would be a little bit of an exaggeration. But it does take practice. Now some people will say, well magic, that's the work of some evil supernatural force.
to this, I just say no, no. Okay, in German it's nine, nine. Magic isn't really that intense. I have to warn you though, if you ever play with someone who deals cards like this, don't play for money. Why not? That's a very good hand. The odds of getting it are 4,165 to 1. Yeah, but I think my hand is better. I, I guess we beat the odds. I think you got your birthday wish. And that leaves us with the last and most important card of all. And unlike anything else you've just seen, virtual or not. This is without a question card the detected. real thing. Thank you very much. Thank you.